What is being said here in verse 13 to 15 is that the Holy Spirit, we don't need to guess how the Holy Spirit works. We don't need to make assumption as to, well, I think the Holy Spirit does this, and I think that the Holy Spirit does that. We are very, God, and people are like, Ethan, by you not believing in some of this stuff, you're putting God in a box. No, God put himself in a box on how we can expect him to work it out. It's not that God is limited. It's not that, if you think that I can limit God because I don't believe in some of this hocus pocus stuff that we see people floating around today in some of these churches, Uh, you have a very low view of God. God can do whatever he wants, when he wants and how he wants. But how he has outlined for us in his scriptures is what we should expect from the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit emanating from the life of an individual is anything other than what is being described in the scriptures, that's not the Holy Spirit. So what do I see happening at these churches? Ethan, are you saying that that's not the Holy Spirit? I don't know what that is, but all that I know is what Scripture says about what and how we can expect the Holy Spirit to show himself and what it is that we can expect to receive from the Holy Spirit, and that's not it. 